everyone, it's Fantasia. Welcome back to another episode of Disaster Diaries. Oh my goodness, I am so ready to get back into things. It is an exciting day because it's moving day. And before we get into that, let's do our notification shout out. And this one goes to you, Riss Brown. I'm so glad you missed my Sims too, because oh my goodness, this was on my video where I titled it, I miss my Sims. It was just me kind of like preparing for the next episode of this Let's Play. So let's go ahead and get on into it. And also thank you so much for your comment. Okay, so we we actually have Avery and Jiraiya just sitting on, or not on the couch, in these chairs in the living room chatting with the fireplace lit. How freaking peaceful. And they're just talking about how, oh my goodness, I cannot believe we are moving today. However, the house that they got is actually way out of budget and Avery actually just got accepted for a loan. It's a big loan. Oh, prom is starting. I mean, we can move in the morning, but I wanted to get her loan and then, you know, in the morning they just pack up and move right away but i'm just like they gotta do prom okay we'll go to prom we'll go with both of them we will do it and i guess it's kind of a way to celebrate them moving but we need a big loan she avely needs like 150k for this house that she does not have and i didn't see a 150k option in my head she just got accepted for the loan like the night before and she was like oh thank goodness because she was told this house is hers and she was like oh shit like i don't have the money for it she was like pretending she has it so when this loan came in at the right time she's like thank goodness she like applied for all these places and she was like okay i hope somewhere accepts me and this place did so we will be getting on that but for now she's just gonna be at home and i will do that as soon as they get back if you plan on purchasing the Sims 4 Lovestruck or any of the Sims 4 packs, you can use my code Fantasia on the EA app or thesims.com. This does directly support me and my channel, so I really do appreciate those of you guys who use my code. So, it's prom. Is Araya's besties here? Honestly, I don't even know. I mean, she knows Wolfgang. Oh, it's Ash. Okay, hey girl. Okay, let's go ahead and do an inside joke. So, her and Ash, you know, they still have the same relationship just as the last episode. Of course, I haven't played off camera or anything like that. So, they have crush, but we have resentful about no prom invite, and they both have this towards each other. Neither of them invited each other to prom, and maybe that's gonna cause a little, like, maybe she she won't talk to her tonight. Also, girl, why did you change out of your prom outfit? Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, let's we'll change her back. Okay, there we go. But yeah, maybe she wouldn't talk to her too much tonight. Look at you getting a damn drink. Where are the teachers? Like, bro. <laughs> okay, that's actually so funny because I have base mental and like he will get drunk. Do you think she'll yell at him? I don't know. It, I like how she's like supervising though. Like came over here right away and just literally did- uh, Wait, did that not affect him? Interesting. Do I have base mental in my game right now? I do. So I would expect that to like affect him in some way, like even just a buzz, but I guess not. I guess not. Or wait, was it just punch? Oh, okay. It wasn't alcohol. Oh my God. It was literally just fruit punch. Me thinking he has actual alcohol. Nah. <laughs> okay, well, go to the bathroom. Also, this is already done if you guys are noticing with this save file. Like, this is actually really cool. I mean, there's even like a room to get ready in here. I love that. So I've talked about this before, but this is the Unfadia save file. So that is where you can grab this. Oh, oh, they like feel uncomfortable with each other. Uh, obviously, they have like oh my god she's very angry peeved why are you picking on me riled up oh my god a hot-headed sim just can't keep their anger hidden when they have a bad conversation oh my god so yeah like there was a thing with savannah and i i don't know i don't know i yeah i definitely think that was not meant to happen for sure oh who's this guy talking to ash honestly i like how i'm just kind of like observing and honestly i feel like she needs her best friend right now you know and he's not here so wait but yeah invite to current law i don't know why he wouldn't be here well i mean i guess he didn't want to attend but i think she's like dude you need to get over here i cannot stand the people here and like i just want to talk to ash but she's upset with me she's like you know like i didn't invite them to prom and i should have but i was too shy and like she doesn't even want to deal with wearing her dress she's like no and she's literally just a <laughs> about to perform what are you doing she was about to perform a solo routine right now and she's just like i don't want to wear this but i'm gonna force you to wear it because girl what do you think you're doing <laughs> 
And then I like how he's just all peaceful. Like he's just like, this is fun. This is so fun. Oh, she's giving Ash the side eye. I, I feel like it's more like, they're both just salty. Like they didn't invite each other to prom, but they probably both didn't for the same reasons. Like they're both just nervous, but then now it's prom and yeah, it's just like so awkward now. I don't know. Yeah, dude, just talk to your brother. Like this is crazy, but shouldn't you guys be listening to this? I didn't even like vote for anyone. This is a mess of a prom. Oh, hey, Noah. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh, um, let's see. Oh my god. Bruh, you weren't even properly here and you just won? Are you for real? Of course you got Jester though. Okay, and then she got prom queen. So, okay. I, I don't know how you won. Oh, oops. You. We need to be calmed down by you. Can you get off the stage now? Oh, what are you doing on the stage? She's like, I want some time to shine. <laughs> Taking a picture up on the stage. Stop. Stop. Oh my goodness. This music is a bop. Like, okay. 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 Let's go ahead and share photos. Let's joke about old times. She just really needs her best friend right now. She really does. I am bopping to this music. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> like, I so am. Oh, I want to give a hug, but she's too angry for that. Let's gossip a little bit because yeah, she's just kind of in an annoyed mood. Why don't we do some dancing? I think that could be fun. Wait, where, oh, should we get some pictures here? I don't know where they should dance. I feel like, like obviously here, right? But like, I wish this was an actual dance floor. I don't know. We're just gonna go ahead and dance. He can dance wherever he pleases. I feel like this should be an actual dance floor thing, but I don't want to change that right now. Okay, so she is talking to her bestie, literally up on stage. <laughs> Let's do a knock knock joke and let's do a deep conversation. Let's also, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put them. Oh, we are in a group. Okay, perfect. He's not dressed either. Well, let's just go ahead and go here together. Oh, finally you've learned that he uh, likes comedy. Okay, look at him. He's like the only one dancing. <laughs> Yeah, I know prom was unsuccessful. That was like the worst prom ever. Literally ever. We don't even have an after party. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, we're definitely gonna go to that. Oh, and he should bring April. Okay, you, you, we're gonna bring Ash, which I don't know if that's the greatest idea. Let's bring Cassandra and um, let's see. Who else should we bring? Does he know Noah? Will Noah even pop up? Did I pass him? Okay, you're perfect. Yay. Okay, I don't know who else should come. Ooh. Okay, maybe let's not do that to his sister. We'll bring Sophia since, you know, she's the prom queen. Um, I mean, we don't have a relationship with many people. She looks really cool though. And maybe like EJ. Honestly, I don't know. It just looks like some people that he'd get along with. Should that be it? Or should we do more? I don't know. Oh, we can't. Okay. That works. Okay, so we've arrived at the after party and she's exhausted, dude. Like she wants to go play chess. That's how she wants to enjoy the after party. But instead, I think we should, I think we should go on this. Can we, yeah, ride the romantic ride with Ash. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And then should we have, let's see. Oh my God, we can mess around with April on this. Ooh, should we do that? Okay, let's do it. I I don't know. It's after prom. Prom wasn't too great, so I'm just feeling that. And then we can go get some ice cream. So that's what we're gonna do. This is like such a good... I know prom wasn't great, but I mean, let's be real. <laughs> let's be real. They're all... They were just looking forward to the after party. Come on now. Are we gonna go though? Are we gonna go in here? Oh, we can't even do this. You're too angry. Okay, girl, you gotta calm the fuck down. <laughs> like seriously, go. Let's go on this ride together. Honestly, things will be better in just a minute. I'm gonna cheat this up just a tiny bit so she can enjoy herself. But wait, oh, they're being all, oh my God, be so for real. They're not doing what I told them to do, but instead they're being really cute. And their outfits are giving like, I don't even know. It's giving a mixture of like life is strange and kind of stranger things. Yeah, like I totally see that. Okay, hold on, we need to get a photo. They really are so cute together. I can absolutely see them being soulmates forever. 
I really, really can. Oh my God, I still need to get the Note Yay eyelashes mod back. The amount of things that I removed when Love Struck came out because I was just so paranoid is crazy. But I will let them enjoy that and hopefully they will still get around to messing around on the Ferris wheel. Okay, so she's feeling better now, thank goodness. But we we still like why come on we just want to oh let's mess around with ash can we do that can we try that i feel like they would be friends with ej to be honest but let's see can we just go mess around on that ride Ooh, romance skill acquired oh ash is sort of falling for araya and wants to ask her if she would like the relationship oh ash is sort of falling for araya and wants to ask her if she would like a relationship do you want this to happen oh my god okay wait maybe this whole like you know they had like bitter feelings towards each other they were really just both salty like oh my god how could you do not ask me to prom now we're both here together and it's awkward like you know it like they just both wanted to be each other's prom date you know so that's where the negative emotions were coming from more so like from love right so let's do it oh my god i can't believe she just asked her that so you require the romantic skill we love that or romance skill girl come on come on let's go like what oh look at them okay wait 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 we need a photo absolutely <gasps> they are so cute wait Okay, this looks like something out of a little movie. I don't know why, like I've seen this pose so many times, but I think it's just like the way they look. I don't know what it is, but like, look, are you kidding? This is so precious. Look at them, I love them. Like, look at our teenagers just finding love. Are you joking? <laughs> like seriously, how sweet. Oh. Oh my god, look how excited they are. Are you joking? That was adorable. That was like little like girly shrieks. <laughs> like that girly excitement. I love that so much. Oh my god, romance satisfaction begins. Okay, they do not want to listen to me. Oh, is it working? Is it working? Is it happening? Oh my goodness. Oh, wait. What is her like thingy my bobs? Her, what's her love language? What's her like turn ons and turn offs i don't know but she just got i don't know i don't know she had like minus signs with that we need to go in and check that stuff but anyways they're gonna enjoy their time Ooh. okay and then they still don't want to go and mess around on the ferris wheel so i think that would be fun let's go do it let's go look at this it's just like fireworks Ooh, new romance dynamic wholesome how tender jariah and april seem to care for each other both as lovers and friends Ooh. okay so romantic partners with the wholesome romance dynamic choose to perform romantic friendly or funny interactions with each other more often and hold a meaningful place in each other's hearts would you describe the dynamic between jariah and april as being wholesome absolutely because i feel like yeah they're lovers and friends so it's literally perfect i love this for them oh my god so cute so they are actually finally gonna go mess around on the ferris wheel at least i hope i think i pray <laughs> Like, I don't even know anymore, but this is so exciting, which I think this is like perfectly appropriate now because they are actual teenagers, you know? You guys, I already have their house and I don't want to spoil anything, but let's just say the fact that they're here is quite ironic. Um, <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get a picture of this because that's just like freaking perfect. Look at this view. It is so stunning. I cannot. Okay, so, oh, they're done. Okay. Well, <laughs> she's literally dead tired. I don't know where Ash went, but it's okay because they're going to be heading home soon. It is two in the morning. So yeah, we need some rest. I wanted them to get ice cream together, but it's closed and no one's here too now. So yeah, we're just going to have to leave. It's okay. It's okay. It is okay. But I mean, they had their fun. Look at them. <laughs> Wait, I like love them together so much. They just look so good together. Like look at their like, I don't know why like their jackets just look like matching little jackets. Like something about them together is perfection. I, I love it so much. Okay, so we're going to go home because yeah, it's late. And I feel like, you know, Evely might start to get worried. Oh, there's Ash. Oh, this would have been cute. That would have been so cute. Okay, but we're gonna go home. I don't know if we'll bring them. They could have like a sleepover. Oh, like look at them. They're messing around with each other. 
<laughs> okay, so let's go back home to San Sequoia. Okay, I think we will bring them. They're already selected and I'm just like, why not? Like sleep overnight after prom? Oh, now Ava Lee has just, what has she been doing? She just required the romance thing. I don't know. I think she's just doing stuff on her phone. I definitely think she should join like the online dating, but okay. They're home. Honestly, she wants to go straight to bed, which I don't blame her. I'm just going to kind of let them do whatever they want to do, to be honest. He's trying to go to sleep, like, you know, not even where he's, well, he doesn't even have a bed, but it doesn't matter <laughs> because we're going to be leaving. So it's completely okay. It, it, we're not even going to worry about it. We'll just leave everything as is. If he wants to sleep here, that is fine. She, is about to get approved for her loan. So like I said, she technically needs like 150, but there's no option. There's 100K and then 50. So we are going to have to get two loans. I'm just like, am I missing it? But no, it goes all the way up to 250K. So we don't want that much because <laughs> it's already a huge loan. We're going to do this one in 36 payments. Oh, she's talking to her. Cute. Okay, she's gonna be around a lot more, so that's exciting. Okay, so once she gets that one, she is also gonna get approved for a another one of 50k. So, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a lot. So this one, we'll do 24 payments. So, yeah, that's what we'll do. Oh, can we, what do you mean? We can't get another one? Are you for real? Can't we? I thought we could get two loans at once. I thought that was a thing. Oh my God. Now I'm like, oh, I should have got the really expensive one. I thought we could have two at once. I swear I've done that. Okay. So to make up for that money, I feel like we're going to have to sell some stuff, you know, just because I want, like I said, I wanted to actually be like, she, you know, got the loan for this. So I'm just like, what could we sell? That <laughs> wouldn't really be that important. Like, we could totally get rid of this and it will just give us some money. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. There's some chairs in here. We're, of course, going to keep this. This is her medicine diploma. I don't want to, I don't know, this household memories and I'm just like, I don't want to get rid of stuff. Okay, I definitely deleted more than I wanted to delete, but we made it. So I'm pretty sure that is the price of the house. So I'm just crossing my fingers. I'm right. But anyways, we're going to go to bed for the night and then I'm going to pick back up in the morning. Okay, so Jariah is the first one awake and he wants to get some food, but they are going to be moving immediately. Like, yes, we're doing this thing. I am so excited. I don't think there's anything in this house that we need to bring. That was the thing about this place. I feel like luckily there's not like very sentimental memories here. And I feel like with the new place, she's excited to kind of do that. You know, like she wants pictures on the wall and all of that. So we are going to move. Okay. I want you guys to guess where you think they're moving. And then let me know if you were right when I actually actually get there. We are going to go ahead and move out household and we, oh, now we have more money because I think more stuff was sold. Honestly, I don't even care. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not stressing about it. We are moving to Cofferdale and it's going to be this house right here. Four bedrooms, two bathrooms. The reason for bedrooms is because, I mean, they do have a half sister and there's going to be a room for her, which is going to be really exciting. So she will come for little stayovers and stuff. So I'm really excited for that. I do have some renovations to do, but I'm going to tell you guys like my vision and Araya's room is actually perfect. Like it's perfectly done for her, but I do have to make some changes for the other rooms. Actually, Avalie's room's good too, but let's go ahead and head in. I'm going to show you guys who built this on the gallery in just a minute, but this is their new home, which is so exciting. It is straight up snowing here. <laughs> so we have a very different energy, but we actually still have 27K left because I think more stuff sold. So I mean, hey, we basically have the same amount of money that we did have, but here is the home. And that's why I gave you guys that little hint because we were literally right across the water from our new house. So Avalie really wanted to live in Copperdale because, you know, both her kids are in high school now and it's close to the school and also she loved how this house was right across from here and felt like, you know, they can come here all the time and have fun. She thought it would be fun for the teens, but also fun to go here as like a family and get ice cream all the time. She loved how the area it was just so, you know, kind of feeling like you're away from everything, but then you're just right across from everything. You know what I mean? She really liked that. So, I love the outside of this house. Like I said, I will show you guys in just a minute. I was debating flipping it 
you know, but I feel like, yeah, with this pathway here, it just makes sense for it to be this way. And also just having the back view be the water. Yeah. So I just feel like that looks best, but oh my goodness, it is so gorgeous. Like we have a nice little seating area. And then when you head in, this is where I want to show you guys what I was talking about. So the bottom floor, you come in and there's just like a little entry area. We have this big dining room. And then over here, we have a little office area. This will most likely be for Avely. So she always had her own office. So she likes this. Well, also, it wasn't just hers, like, you know, ex-husband. <laughs> but she kind of took over that fully. They have this nice big living room with a huge TV, which Avely loves. And this cute little nook area for reading. Over here, this kitchen that Avely absolutely fell in love with. Like, who wouldn't? I'm kind of obsessed. Like, hello. <laughs> like, it is gorgeous. Um, And then we have two doors right here. So this one leads to the bathroom, which can we take a minute? I feel like Avely just needed this because of the shower. She was like, yes. <laughs> and then we have a bedroom here, which this is actually going to be Jariah's bedroom. So he's going to be downstairs. The reason for this is he really wants to get heavy into streaming. He might be loud. He might stay up a little later than his mom when his mom's trying to get some rest. So so this room is going to get a transformation. It's probably going to look similar to his room over in Esme's house. So that's kind of the vibe I'll go for. Maybe a little more mature. Like I might keep some of this stuff, you know, like I really like this bed and stuff, but I definitely want to like gamerify it. <laughs> and then over here, they actually have their own workout room, which I feel like Jariah also really loves. So I think he will be in here a lot, but I also see the whole family in here a lot, honestly. And then we have laundry and then going upstairs. So you come up the stairs over here and then you are led oh she's already trying to get to her new room you are led to this nice little just kind of like a second living room but it's just like this cozy little area I love it and then this balcony with these cute little chairs I thought this would be perfect for them and then we have Araya's bedroom like are you joking so right now she's having the more gamer vibes but I think this is so perfect for her I feel like this room is going to be her little escape when I saw that this build had this room like this was already done I was like you're kidding me this is literally perfect for her like even look at the back of the door I just think I also could see her getting into streaming but maybe not like I could see her more so just gaming more like she clearly has a gaming computer so she might be like a little addicted to gaming and I feel like that will actually kind of be her escape now instead of smoking weed you know but I love this I definitely want like similar vibes in Jariah's room you know but yeah I just was like okay this has to be a Raya's room, all the colors and everything. So then this is actually going to be little Huxley's room for when she comes over. So I do have to make some changes. It kind of has everything right now. Like there's a toddler bed, but then there's a bassinet, but then there's like a kid bed. <laughs> so I mean, this will kind of fit for all her stages, but yeah, I'm obviously going to delete the bassinet. She really only needs this toddler bed. I might keep this in here because I like the idea of maybe like if she had a nightmare, then maybe someone comes and sleeps in here with her for the night. So I kind of like that for storytelling. So realistically, I don't have too much to do with this room, to be honest. I think I'll add like a few more toys. But yeah, she has a potty here. I think it's perfect. But like the main thing I need to do is Jariah's room. So then we have another bathroom up here. And then Avely gets this gorgeous room, which to be honest, I feel like this literally looks like a single mother's room. Like I just feel like there's tones of girliness in here. Those neutral tones. She has her nail polish and makeup set up here. She has her own little desk and it's all just like cozy. Like I feel like this is exactly how she would decorate it. Like I just feel like this house, I was meant to see it on the gallery. Tell me why. Like you can't tell me this doesn't seem like their home. It fits them so well when I haven't even done anything. Obviously the only downside is I feel like Jariah's room is not, oh, it's over here, is not exactly him, but it still has like the vibe I'm wanting to go for. Like, you know, I definitely want him to have a couch here, a little area to like chill and do console gaming. I think I'll just put like, it needs a TV, which I don't really want to flip it. So I don't know what I want to do there. I might just literally have the TV right here. Like I might delete this and like move the dresser or something. I don't know yet because I do like it like, this, you know? Um, but yeah, like this would definitely be where I put the desk and everything. It's just about more stylizing it to him. But yeah, I think they're so excited. I'll obviously be doing some renovations, but I'll probably do that off camera. 
Oh, why am I going in build by? We weren't even in build by. But yeah, I am so excited for them. I feel like they're so excited. He's already, you know, working out, like I said. I think she needs to change out of these outerwear clothes and just kind of chill. She's going to enjoy her new home. She's finally out of that house that just reminds her of all the things that she doesn't want to think about. So we're going to continue watching the channel that's already on. I don't know why she can't just... Oh, she's already watching it. Okay, come and sit then. <laughs> come sit and watch. And then we have Araya up here watching this TV, which is exactly what I think they would be doing. Just like, you know, well, I mean, Jiraiya wanted to go work out immediately, but that's okay. <laughs> like I, but I feel like they just want to come and like chill, you know? So let's go ahead and have you sit. Oh, she's feeling flirty. But yeah, you guys, I think that's where I'm going to wrap up this episode here. I hope you guys like Araya's room because I'm obsessed. Oh, and then let me not forget. Here's the house right here. It's called a Hillside Haven. This is by Resno Sim. So that's where you can find them over on the gallery. It's a really popular house and I can definitely see why. It also was built on the exact same lot I placed it in, which was another reason why I was like, oh my God, it's meant to be because this is where I wanted them to live. And it was just like so weird that I saw this house. I saw like the Ferris wheel and I was like, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> It's perfect. But yeah, I hope you guys are ready. It looks like she wants to go eat and then she's still watching her TV. I think she's so happy. Honestly, this would be very uncomfortable to have to look up this high to watch some TV. But I think we're going to look at the nice view. I'm so excited that they're right across from here. Like that gets me the most excited. I'm not even going to lie. I already can't wait to film the next episode. I do have to do some stuff, obviously some renovations and stuff like that. But it shouldn't take me too long, especially now realizing I don't really need to change much at all for Huxley's room. But I think she'll have a stay over soon too. I think that'd be really cute. I don't think toddlers can have an actual stay over though. I may have to just like temporarily move her in. If you guys know of any way, other way I can do that with mods and I'm just like not thinking of it at the moment, let me know. But if not, I can just temporarily move her in over here and then move her back in with Esme afterwards. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Then